This video is sponsored by Anchor Soundcore. More on them in a bit. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. And it has been a minute since I've done a behind the scenes photo shoot here on the channel. And I figured it was time to get back to that. So yesterday, me and my friend Carl went out to the beach to shoot some product lifestyle photos. And it was an awesome shoot. The light was beautiful and we captured some really cool photos. And we were shooting this awesome little speaker called the Anchor Soundcore Motion Boom Plus, which also happens to be the sponsor of today's video. And I'll tell you a little more about the speaker a little bit later on in the video. But one of the reasons why I wanted to make this video is because commercial for photography or lifestyle product photography can pay incredibly well for us as photographers. It's been great for my career and so many of my other photographer friends as well. And amongst all the different jobs that we can get as photographers, as travel photographers, product photography or commercial photography is one that always pays quite well. But with that said, there's a reason why it pays well. And that's because it's not always easy. It's not easy to plan out a shoot and find models and style everything realistically and get good light. It's not easy to execute all these things in one go. But if you can, you can capture some really epic photos. So today in this video, I want to walk you guys through the shoot that we did, give you tips for shooting your own commercial shoot on a budget, even if it's just for your portfolio and you're not working with an actual client. I recommend every photographer that's looking to score clients, go out and shoot your own fake commercial shoots because this is the best way that we can build our portfolio early on. Now, before we jump into the shoot, if you guys are interested in learning how to make this career path a reality where you can travel the world, take photos and get paid for it, then you can check out my free workshop. There's a link down below. It's about an hour long and it covers the five steps that you need to take to make this career path a reality for you so you can travel the world and get paid at the same time. That's completely free. There's a link down below and I hope you guys enjoy. Now, one of the most important things for a commercial shoot or a product lifestyle shoot is the location of your shoot, obviously, right? And there's a few things you need to think about. You want to make sure, number one, it looks good, but also that it fits the vibe of your product and also that the light is going to be good in that location. So our product here, the Anchor Soundcore Motion Boom Plus is a speaker that's made for the outdoors. It's waterproof. It has really good outdoor sound and it's also portable. And those are all things that I really wanted to express in these photos. So of course the beach was a natural environment for this. It just works perfectly and it makes the scene look realistic. And that's one of the things that is the hardest part to get about commercial photography or product lifestyle photography is to make your scene look natural. It's not easy. I always like to bring things like props to help tie things back into reality. And every time I set up a scene, I ask myself, okay, is this realistic? Would somebody be actually doing this? And if the answer to that question is yes, then that scene probably looks realistic. So you can see here in our first scene, we decided to lay this towel down and we had a few props that we were setting up and we just jumped into shooting. One of the things that I do on these photo shoots is I just jump straight into it because if I sit there and I overthink it, I can't get into that creative flow that I need to fall into for my photo shoots. So we just started snapping away and here I'm shooting with the 35 millimeter F 1.4. And I really like these images. The light was actually quite nice. I know it looks a little bit hard, but it was actually quite soft. And I loved the backlight. It was lighting up Carr's hair and it just looked super, super nice. So we actually came out here a little bit earlier than what we would usually do for a photo shoot because I wanted to experiment shooting in a little bit harder of light, right? We came out here at about uh, 3.45 and the sunset is about 6.15. I mean, that's gonna give us this kind of nice hard midday light, but not as crazy as like 12 p.m., but also not as soft as sunset. But sometimes that can look really cool for a commercial shoot or a product shoot because it introduces a lot more contrast into the scene. And oftentimes we want kind of a higher contrast punchier look for a commercial style photo. So I'm actually really liking this light that we have here. It's it's strong, but it's not like too harsh. It's kind of like at that really perfect level for a commercial style photo shoot. And that would be my recommendation is to come out a few hours before sunset and then just stay all the way until sunset and all the way through blue hour. So then you get like a wide range of light that you're working with throughout the photo shoot. Now I did shoot with the 35 for most of the day because like I said, this is my favorite lens, but I did slap on the 55 a little bit to capture some mid-range shots. Now the 50 is just an all around great lens for product photography because it's zoomed in, but it's not that zoomed in. It's still fairly wide. It's very realistic looking. Uh, and 50 is just a very classic focal length for product photography. So big fan of some of these photos that are shot with the 50. They just pull the background in a little bit more and they allow us to focus on the product in a little bit more detail. I also 
also shot with the 85 quite a bit and the 85 is an epic focal length for product photography because it really allows us to isolate that subject even more than the 50. And another reason why is because at 85 millimeters, you have very to little lens distortion in your image, meaning that your product looks very natural, the curves look really good, and you can just get really up close on the details. And that's what I was doing here. I was shooting up close on some of the details and I think these photos look pretty cool. I really like the shapes here. But just like I was doing with the 35, when I was shooting with the 50 and the 85, I was shooting up close and I was backing up and shooting further away as well. And that's because these lenses give us very different looks in our images. In 85, we'll pull the background in a lot more. It'll have a lot more compression than shooting with a 35 millimeter lens. So I really like to change it up and shoot a lot of diversity in my shots. Now, generally speaking, I think the speaker was pretty easy to shoot. I think it looks great. I like the color against the black sand on this beach. Now, speaking of the speaker, like I said before, this video is sponsored by the Anchor Soundcore Motion Boom Plus, which is this epic little speaker that I have been testing out for a little while now. And when Anchor first approached me to sponsor a video, I was absolutely pumped. And the reason for that is because I am super into music. I am always going to festivals. I'm flying to Europe in a month to go to a bunch of festivals, but music is a huge part of my creative process. I am constantly listening to music, whether I'm editing, whether I'm planning a shoot. And also while I'm actually shooting, every time I go out and shoot with model or I'm shooting landscapes, I almost always bring a portable speaker with me out into the field. And the reason for that is just because it puts me in a creative state that allows me to think outside the box and come up with new compositions and be creative as a photographer. So I almost am always listening to music while I'm shooting. And this speaker has been a joy to use during my photo shoots. Now, the most important thing about a speaker is that it sounds good. And the Anchor Soundcore Motion Boom Plus has 80 watts of high quality stereo audio. And if you don't know what that means, that means it gets loud as hell and it sounds really really, really good, even when it's really loud. I listen to a ton of electronic music and electronic music often has a lot of lows that require a good speaker in order to hear. And if you have a bad speaker, it's just gonna sound like rattling bass the whole time. But with the Anchor Soundcore Motion Boom Plus, I can play pretty much any song and I can hear the entire track of the song. I can hear the lows, I can hear the high, I can hear the mids, and it just sounds really good. Another reason why I love this speaker so much is the fact that it's portable and it's durable. This thing was made to go outside. It's IP67 water resistant, meaning you can take it out into the ocean. And I did, I put this thing through its paces. I shot it in the ocean, I let it get wet. And I love the fact that it's waterproof because I am often going to the beach and we're swimming and we're getting wet and it rains a lot here in Bali as well. So we need something that's durable, that can go outside, and also something that's portable. And the Anchor Soundcore Motion Boom Plus has a strap that comes alongside with it. And here in Bali, we drive motorbikes everywhere. Nobody drives cars. All I have to do is wrap this around my shoulder. I can drive down to the beach. I can drive over to my friend's house and we have music playing just like that. I'm a huge fan of the portability of the speaker and me and my friends have been using it pretty much every day, whether we're at the beach or we're at my friend's house, just hanging out playing cards. This is always there with us and it's loud enough to cancel out the sound of the ocean, which is super, super loud. It also has bass up technology. All you have to do is press this button and the bass gets enhanced, which sounds absolutely insane, especially when you're outside and you need a little bit more bass. All you have to do is press that button. You get that really full bass, but you still get a really clear dynamic sound from the speaker. But the best part about this speaker is that it is only $180, which I find absolutely insane. I've paid so much more for speakers in the past and they don't sound nearly as good as this. So if you guys are looking for a speaker that you can take out on your adventures, that you can take with you to your photo shoots, or even when you're at home editing your photos, editing your videos, I'm a big fan of the speaker and I would highly recommend it. So thank you so much Anchor for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the photo shoot. Now we got locked into this first scene for quite a while. I was just really loving this backlight. It was gorgeous, uh, but I knew we needed to make a change. So we switched it up and we did some walking shots. Maybe we go down here and I can shoot you this way. We still get that nice backlight. We'll get a little bit of the trees and then we'll get some of the ocean in the scene as well. You know what I mean? I love this light though. This light is so freaking beautiful. I don't want to move, but I feel like We've kind of shot the hell out of this. So we should probably change it up. So yeah, we're gonna move everything over here, set up a new little zone and uh, yeah, do it all over again. So let's go. Come here, come here. <laughs> Hi, you want some love too? You want some love too? Okay, yeah, let's, let's have you walk this way. I'm just gonna shoot as we go. The 
reason why I like this composition so much is because we have this beautiful soft backlight coming in. It might not look soft, but it actually is quite soft right now. I think there's a little bit of haze in the sky. Um, and that's allowing this nice kind of ring light around Cara and around the speaker as well. It just looks beautiful. I love shooting into the light. That's one of my favorite directions to shoot in. And very rarely will you find me shooting with the light. So the sun is here. I will very rarely shoot this way because I wanna get that dynamic light. I wanna get those dynamic shadows in the scene. And if I'm shooting with the light behind me, it's, everything's just gonna look flat, right? We're not gonna have those shadows. So I love this shot here. But as we were shooting, I really liked it when Kara was laying on the ground with the product. So we moved the towel back out onto the beach into the sun. I wanted to get the ocean in some of the shots, so that's exactly what we did. We moved down onto the beach, put the towel down, laid the props out, and we spent quite a bit of time trying to get in the right position to make sure that the speaker was well lit, uh, the composition was good, and the angle of light was good as well. And this is not easy when you're shooting with a model and you're shooting with a product and you wanna make sure that the scene looks number one natural, but number two, you wanna make sure that that light looks really good as well. So we spent quite a bit of time fumbling around trying to get the speaker in the right location, trying to sit Cara in the right location, as well as style those props to make it look natural. But I think some of these photos came out pretty well. So these images were a little bit higher contrast because we didn't have the luxury of the shade from the trees, uh, just adding that dynamic light a little bit. But like I said before, some of these commercial photos with a high contrast look, they look pretty cool. And I do like how these images came out. They were a little bit tough to edit because those blues were so punchy, but I think they came out quite well and I'm pretty happy with them. But towards the end when we were losing light, we decided to go down to the beach and capture some photos in the water. And I think these are pretty cool, but I also don't think that they're all that realistic, right? Going back to that thing that I mentioned a little bit earlier on, these photos look aesthetic, but they don't make a whole lot of sense. And sometimes the client won't mind, sometimes the client will mind. I always err on the side of just taking them anyways. You never know, the photos might be pretty cool. So we did take some of these images and I think they're okay. The light isn't as dynamic as I would have liked. And also it was still pretty bright outside and I didn't have an ND filter. So I couldn't do the shutter drag photos like I wanted to. For some of these photos, I was shooting at 1 30th of a second with an aperture of f7.1, which is super random. And I was overexposed by like one or two stops. Uh, but the reason I was doing that is because I wanted to capture that motion blur. And I knew that as long as I didn't clip those highlights, I could bring that exposure back down in post. And that's what I did. And I think these photos look decent. They're not my favorite, but they do have a little bit of that motion blur in the images. And this is something I would like to do better next time is bring an ND filter out and shoot with an aperture of f2, f2.8 and a really slow shutter speed. And when that wave comes in, get that really nice blurry areas in the image. I think this looks really, really cool for product photography. But overall, we had a super fun shoot. The only issues that we really had was with the footage. We accidentally recorded everything in 1080p, which you guys might notice, uh, but I still wanted to share this with you guys because it was fun. And I think there were a few key tips to take home for your next commercial shoot. So I hope you guys found this video useful. And if you guys like this type of content, let me know. I can definitely make more of these behind the scenes photo shoots. And also, like I said before, if you guys are interested in becoming a professional travel photographer and you wanna learn the steps and the income streams that you need to make that happen, feel free to check out my free workshop. There's a link down below in the description. And I hope you guys enjoy that. But thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you and I will catch you again soon in another video.